Good morning. Hope everybody's doing good today. Kind of a gloomy day again out there. I'm getting tired of this. I want sunshine and warmth. Alrighty, I'm just trying to find myself on my other screen here. Alright, I think I got it. Okay. All right, today we're going to be chalking on this galvanized metal, I don't know, tray, I guess you would call it. Um, I just got this at one of the big craft stores around. I think I'm going to give it just a little waxing because a surface like this, your adhesive on the back of the transfer is going to stick like crazy. And I don't want, don't want to ruin my transfer by having it stick too much. So I'm just using Minwax Paste Finishing Wax and I'm just going to put a light, very light coat on here. You won't even be able to see it. Okay. That should be enough to do the trick. Close that up, get that out of the way. Take a coffee break here. We already went to town today, got our errand over with early. Treated ourselves to some Dunkin' Donuts. Good day for extra coffee, it's so chilly. All right, we're gonna use the brocade accent today, which looking at it like this looks kind of strange. Doesn't look like much, but just you wait. I think it'll look pretty cool. All right, I'm definitely going to fuzz the heck out of this because I don't want to have it stick too much to that metal. I'm just gonna write on the back. so that I can put everything back together the way it's supposed to be when I'm done. All right, I'm trying to get myself situated on my other screen over here. You know how much trouble I have with that. Let's see. All right, that's better, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Just gonna peel this off. When we put it back on, that's the back. The um, transfer is going to go back on this side. It's a shinier, like, sticker paper side. I'm going to give this a good fuzzing. I had my very first Facebook party last night on the pencil here. It's 11 inches, so the middle would be at 5 and a half. Just going to put a little mark. And do the same thing. Five and a half. All right. So I think that is our middle right there. All right. Here we go. I'm going to stand up so I can hopefully get this right. I'm going to get the, the straight and wind up right in the middle. Okay. Make sure there's no air bubbles there. I'm going to do this in Tide. I like this color. Just give it a good stirring with a stir stick. Looks like a little bit thick, so I'm going to add some distilled water. The distilled water will just help thin it out. You want it to be the consistency of yogurt. Might need a little bit more there. Okay. 
So last night during the Facebook party, I had my younger son keeping track of all the comments and everything, and oh, he was so stressed out. It was nice and easy for me, but <laughs> he got the hard job, so I owed him Dunkin' Donuts this morning for that. All right, I'm just going to plop some on here. Ooh, I got a big chunk. We don't want the chunk necessarily. Have to mix that up better later. I'll take a squeegee and I'm just gonna pull the color across. Make sure you cover all of the open open screen areas. When there's extra, just scrape it right back into the jar. Oh, I managed to get a lot on my finger. Huh. All right. I'm going to peel this up. See how much that's sticking? I'm glad I waxed it. Oh, no. Okay. We're going to let that dry. Now I'm going to clean this because I'm going to use it again. Instead of sticking it in the water bath, I'm just going to clean it right here so we can be ready to go again quickly. I love this color. It's so pretty. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean since we're going to use it again. Oh, look at that. That's pretty too. This will wash right up. I'll give it a good scrub afterwards. All right. I'm going to put this on the other side, the microfiber side of the um, buzzing towel, just to give it a little dry. Try not to wiggle my table too much on you. Okay, we'll let that dry. I'm going to use the hair dryer on this because I want it to be good and dry so I don't smudge it when I'm trying to put on the second half. good because the only thing that's going to overlap is that circle in the middle. I've got my Tide paste everywhere today. What a mess. I'm just using disinfectant wipes here to clean everything up. Oy. All right, let's see if we are dry. Feels good. Gonna fuzz it again. It's even after all that fuzzing and the waxing, it's still stuck very well. All right, this is gonna be the tricky part, getting it lined up. Well, good morning, Larissa. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Aubrey. I'm just guessing she's watching with you. Hi, Georgie. Do the same thing with the paste on the other side. And try not to get it all over my hands this time. 
Oh, I tried something new the other day. I've been hearing that there's a way to thin out some paste. We've been, some of the paste that I've been getting, and I know other people have been getting them too, have been super thick lately. I don't know what's different, but if you have one that just keeps taking water and taking water and taking water and you can't get it to the right consistency, you add some water. This is the trick I learned and it worked for me. Add some water, put it in the microwave for five seconds, take it out, stir like crazy. If it still need isn't the right consistency, add some more water, do it in the microwave again for five seconds and just keep going like that till it's right and it worked. I think it took three, three little trips through the microwave to work, but it did. There, I love that. That's pretty. Now, to seal this, I'm going to spray it with um, like a clear, clear poly spray. I'll give it a couple coats of that and let it dry in between the coats. Um, and then you could use this to serve drinks on or whatever. I wouldn't put food right on it because it's not food safe, although it's all natural ingredients. So I don't think it would hurt you, but still, I'm not going to tell you it's food safe. Um, but yeah, serve drinks on it, put little plates on. That would be really pretty. I like that. I'm happy I finally used this dish. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, if you want to check out my website, it is www.chalkcouture.com slash mountainside chalk. And also, I hope you'll check out my VIP group, um, which is Mountainside Chalkers VIP, because I can post some extra goodies over there that I can't do on the business page. So request to join that, and I'll get you hooked up there. In the meantime, have a good day. Enjoy the doom and gloom of the day. Hope you have some sunshine somewhere. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.